I really want to get more organized this year. I should get a planner. I want to track my daily and weekly events, plan my healthy meals and workouts, maybe even a spot to journal about things I'm grateful for. Oh, and if there were motivational quotes at the beginning of each month, that would be so cool. But wait, they don't sell planners like this with all of these specific things, do they? Oh well, I guess I'll have to make my own. It is my first video of 2022 and it is not too late for you guys to get yourself an annual planner so that you can be more organized this year. If you're like me, then you might be really picky about what kinds of things you expect out of a planner, whether you like to do things more on a weekly basis or go into detail on a daily basis. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn a simple Canva design into something like this. I've done the same process before with a lot of my clients as a graphic designer, different coaches that want to offer customized journals and planners to their clients or customized to their coaching programs. So this is a really good way to elevate the branding for your business if journals and planners are a component of that. Additionally, you can even order a few and start selling them on Etsy if you wanna have a little side hustle. So if you go to my website, brittanynew.com and click on the blog, there you can find free templates to get started with your own custom planner. Or you can just start from scratch on Canva. Either way, make sure that you use the link on my blog or in the video description to sign up for your free Canva account if you don't have one already. So I'm going to delete everything on this first page to make room for a nice new cover design. Canva has a lot of templates and I'm just going to search cover so that I can find one that I like. This one's pretty. Now I'm going to customize it. I like to put the year 2022 and my name on it. You can make yours look however you want. Now I'm going to take this month page and duplicate it to write each month of the year. Then you can take your time deciding which pages you wanna have, monthly, daily, weekly, or what you wanna plan, organize, track, or journal. Now, instead of creating this massive book for the entire year with every single page for every single month, we're going to do it a little differently because Canva doesn't allow for documents with more than 100 pages. So I'm going to show you this easy little workaround that I came up with. And my final planner document came out to be 194 pages, so I had to do it like this. So basically, we're going to design the group of pages that we want to have included for each month of the year. And then we're going to duplicate that stack after each month is presented. So my advice to keep this simple is for every monthly type of planner or tracker, you would put one page. For every weekly type of planner or tracker, I'd suggest putting five because most months have five weeks or less. And then for anything daily, you can put 31 because each month has maximum 31 days. This is for simplicity, and obviously you'll have extra pages this way, like when there are four weeks or 30 days in the month, but it's better to have more than not enough. And doing it like this just enables us to use the same monthly document 12 times over and over again, instead of having each month uh, very precise to how many days or weeks there are. So once you have your monthly group of pages after your 12 months and cover, it should look something like this or longer if you were having individual pages for every single day, which I don't. I have like a half week page here and there. Um, so here's how we're going to export this document to create the big monster document. So when you go to download, select the PDF print option, then export the cover page alone then export each month's page on its own. So you should have 12 of those and then export the monthly group of pages all together. And that will be its own document. So then in total, you should have these 14 documents downloaded on your computer. I renamed them so that you can see what they are easily. In your computer's files, you're going to make a folder for these downloads and then put them in the right order and make sure that your files are in order by name so that they stay in the right order when you number them. So you're going to number them 1 to 26. The first cover will be 1, the last cover will be 26, and then you'll alternate. The even pages will be calendars and the odd pages will be the monthly group of planner pages. 
So after this, you should have a total of 26 documents with an alternation of the calendars with the planner page groups. Now go to the website called I Love PDF to merge all of these documents together. This is a free website and there's a link in the description of this video which will take you there. Then upload all the documents, check that they've uploaded in the right order, and as you can see, unfortunately, this program caps you off at 25 documents and we just have one too many, which is so annoying. So after you have merged the first 25 documents, you'll have to do this process one more time so that you can add that last document so that you have a back cover on your book. And when your entire document is merged, then you'll be finished designing your custom and complete annual planner. So now that you have the design, you obviously wanna get it printed so that you can write in it. So here are the things that you have to do. So to get a spiral bound book, you're gonna to wanna to go to any major print store in your area. If you live in the US, then I've gone to Staples and FedEx office to get these made before, and they do spiral bound books. It's very affordable. In the past, I've paid about $10. This one cost me $10. And and it will cost you more if you wanna get every single page printed in color. So what I usually do is I get the first and the last page printed in color, which are the covers, and then I do all the insides black and white because I don't care. If you want it in color though, then you can expect the price to be double or triple what I just said. So maybe 20 or $30 instead of 10, but that all depends on where you go. So about the size, the size of this book is I think a really good size, it fits in a lot of my medium to large purses with no problem and it's just like a really good size to write on. So the size of this book is European A5 and what's really good about the European metric system for printing paper is they have A5 which is half of A4 which is like the standard paper size that is pretty much all the documents get printed on. But in the US, they have a different size, the imperial size um, scale, like the normal size is letter documents and then the longer ones legal. And then there is a thing called half letter, but the thing is it's not really half of a letter. It's four by six, which isn't half of eight and a half by 11. So if you want your book to be about this size, then what I would recommend is designing it on a normal letter size document. But then when you go to print it out, explain to the printer that you want two pages of your document for every one printed page. And I've done that before. I know it's like a bit of a mouthful to explain, but they usually know exactly what you mean and they can have it printed that way for you. So once they print it on the letter size document, it's gonna have obviously one page on one side and one on the other. And then they're gonna have to take a machine to cut the pages themselves, but don't worry, that's what they do. Um, they have really efficient ways of cutting all pages for you. And then what's really important is you have to clarify that you want your document to be double-sided facing pages. They will know what that means. But if you don't do double-sided, then what you're gonna have is you're gonna have something here and then not something on the back and something here and not something on the back. And then facing, pa facing pages just ensures that one is here, one is there. And so that's what you wanna tell them, double-sided facing pages. And furthermore, about the covers, if you want to clarify that you do want your cover and your back cover to be in color, then obviously you can tell them first page in color, last page in color, but nothing in between. And then you're gonna to have to clarify that you want page one of your document to be the cover because sometimes they're not clear if they, if you want page one to start here or if you want page one to start in here. So you're gonna to wanna to tell them the first page should be on top and the last page should be on the back. And to ensure that that's correctly, you should have an even number of pages in your document. And the final thing that you wanna mention at the printer is whether or not they have this plastic covering that protects the covers of your book. This is standard and most places have this. I've never seen someone not have it. If they do spiral binding, they usually have page protectors. But what you should be aware of is they might not have every single color available. So this is like a really transparent, um, clean plastic. I've gone to other places where it's translucent so you can see through it, but it's not clear. You wouldn't be able to like read anything, but you can see kind of the colors through it. So clarify what kind of plastic protection options they have for the books. Some places might just have a solid black or a solid white, and you have to decide if you want your color to show through 
or not, and then choose a printer that has the fully transparent option. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it and you found the tutorial helpful. Let me know in the comments what kind of journal or planner you're gonna make. Are you gonna make a day planner or a dream journal or a gratitude journal? The limits are endless, so I would love to hear your ideas. And if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps it for the YouTube algorithm, and so does leaving comments, by the way. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.